last time that I did this, I didn't show you the sway bar. This is the sway bar for the trailer. See, it goes in and out. What this is going to do is prevent the uh, trailer from swaying. So here in my hitch, I have this bolt that's here. I'm going to put this one that faces down there. Then I'm going to pull it. I'm going to slide it until it reaches the other one, which goes right here. Okay? There it is. Okay? Then I'm going to pin them. So the pin, this one, the pin goes down. There's a there's some little holes here. See, let me, see the holes there? There's one here, the one here. So when I put it in, this pin, and you might have to jiggle it a little bit to get it to go. So it goes through that hole and comes out that one. Where's the other pin? I didn't have the other pin. The pin for that side? I only had one. What do you mean you only had one? Where's the other pin? You had one. I have, oh, it's in my pocket. Okay, so then the other pin, see there's a hole here and there's another hole here. So I'm going to put this pin and I'm going to pass it from that hole to this hole. And that's going to lock the sway bar in place. Then this is what's going to tighten it. So on very windy days, you're going to want to tighten it a lot. Usually you're going to want to do it a whole turn and then a little bit more. Because I'm a woman, I do a little bit more than a little bit more. Because they usually tell you that for the men. But okay, so it's nice and tight there. You can always get out of the car and tighten it if it's really windy, or you feel that it's take it's it's going to start moving. Then you're going to go ahead and and tighten a little bit more. So because we're we're pulling out of here pretty much straight, this is a pull through and everything is straight. I can do that now. I don't have to wait till later. And I wanted to show you anyways. <music>